I think there's nothing wrong with criticizing uh, the conservative position. The real issue in my mind is not criticizing the conservative government. It's attacking Harper's thinking. Do you really believe that Mr. Harper would not bring back anti-choice legislation? Do you understand that Mr. Harper contradicted the legislation on elections that he introduced a little while ago? Do you understand the scandal in Quebec? It seems to me to get attention to the liberals, they have to attack Mr. Harper and not put forward soft ideas about what they might do or might not do. But in order to sell the green shift, you really have to have a leader with enormous stature because you're asking Canadians to take a huge leap of faith on accepting a whole new way of not only establishing our carbon footprint, but it's a new economy. And Canadians are really nervous about the economy as it is today through the election. It's nine days into the election and they've made three or four adjustments to the green shift. What does it really mean? The real issue in my mind is creating anxiety and trepidation about what Mr. Harper thinks and how he thinks. When you watch Mr. Harper walk down the street with his daughter, they never hold hands. It's just like, <laughs> I don't know this man. Have a good day, Rachel. <laughs> Have a good day, Ben. Have a good day, Rick.